The latest expectations for Latin America show a very concerning situation. Latin America is on the verge of a lost decade. It's not just a situation created by the COVID-19 crisis or by the Ukraine war. Actually, Latin America should be one of the main beneficiaries of the Ukraine invasion because as commodity producers, many of these countries are seeing a tailwind from the higher levels of demand for food, for uh, oil, for copper, etc. So, the first thing that we need to understand is that the very aggressive downgrades of growth in Latin America are coming in a time in which it should be, as a region, growing faster than developed economies. Second, inflation. The destruction of purchasing power of the local currency is one of the big trends of the last decade. And what we have seen in Argentina and Venezuela and other countries is likely to continue with populist governments that continue to say that they're going to spend a lot more with uh, a financing coming from higher printing of currency. Colombia, Chile. We have a lot of countries in which populist measures are affecting potential growth in three ways. On the first one is the risk of investment and legal security by constantly changing the laws in order to implement populist policies. The second is the risk to property rights. The moment that risks to property rights start investment goes away from those countries. The third is destruction of the purchasing power of the currency via monster monetary policy, as we have seen in Argentina. And many populist governments actually think that the reason why it didn't work in Argentina or it didn't work in Ecuador before uh, the dollarization or it didn't work in uh, Venezuela is because they did not implement it. And that's a big, big mistake. Uh, Latin America is facing a lost decade. It was already growing slower than its potential prior to the COVID-19 crisis. It has recovered much slower. More importantly, now it faces the risk of lower investment, weaker currencies, and a prolonged period of stagnation with high inflation because of the wrong policies. Let's uh, pay a lot of attention to this because it's a very important uh, region for the world and certainly one in which poverty is coming from the mistaken, misguided, wrong policies.